Hey guys, what's up? By Sectatron here from One Hive Gazette, here with the next video, and this one's going to serve a few purposes today, um, three purposes actually. Uh, first, I'm going to be talking about an opportunity that some of you guys will have tomorrow, pretty cool um, stuff there, so I'll get to that. Second, I'm going to go through the survey results, that survey that you guys filled out about a week ago. I appreciate everyone who did that, so we'll go through the results, talk about how it's going to impact the channel, and... Um, Finally, at the end of this video, I'm going to be announcing the winner for the iTunes gift card giveaway, uh, or maybe Google Play, whatever it is, um, 20 bucks towards your Clash of Clans account. So I'll be announcing the winner at the end for the mutual subscribers with Braden Whitman. And uh, first, let's start it off with the opportunity tomorrow. Uh, I'm going to allow some of you guys to try to friendly challenge the Town Hall 9 base I built. Um, that's something that I did, I think, once in the past. But I like opening up the base for you guys because a lot of you guys were talking in the comments uh, of the last video of the no-fly zone base I built, saying how you could three-star it in different ways. Um, so if you're a Town Hall 9, the floor is open to you. Tomorrow, probably around 4 to 7 Pacific time, 4 p.m. to 7 p.m. Uh, West Coast, United States, uh, Pacific Standard Time. Around there, I'm going to uh, open up my subscriber clan. It's called Three Star Union. Unless you hear otherwise, that's the location. And you guys can come on over. There's a few rules that I have to say, uh, but you can come over and have a few tries at my base. Everything will be on my Twitter, so in the description of this video, there's a link to my Twitter. Make sure you follow me on Twitter, because I'm going to be tweeting out when... Uh, Specifically, you can come over to the clan, so I'll probably tweet out about an hour before saying, hey, in an, in an hour, come on over, and there'll only be like an hour time window for you guys to come in. I'm not going to have it open all day. It's going to be like one hour, maybe like four to five or five to six that you guys can come over, but all the information will be in the tweet, um, the specific clan, the time, all that stuff, so make sure to follow me on Twitter and be looking around, uh, around three or four tomorrow for that tweet with all the information. One rule I will Will say now though is make sure your CCs are filled. I'm not going to have my Town Hall 10 account there. It's probably just going to be that one uh, Town Hall 9 account I have access to. So make sure you have a full clan castle before you come over and you're ready to attack. Your troops are trained. Um, I'm not going to you know spend a lot of time waiting around for people. Make sure your whole army is ready and uh, the base is right here for you guys to see. I may have changed a few things. I may not. Uh, but that's the scout view of the base, so if you want to prepare based on that, there it is. Uh, good luck, guys, and I'm, look I'm looking forward to seeing what you guys have uh, planned up, and most of the attacks will be on the channel uh, for everyone to see, so you guys can see firsthand how this base holds up. Try to bring some different strategies, baby dragons, um, Valks, whatever you think will work. I'm interested to see that. So anyway, follow me on Twitter, and I'll I'll let you guys know the specifics tomorrow for those of you Town Hall 9s that are interested. Uh, next thing is the survey results. We'll just go through here. Um, the first question I asked was just age. There is the demographic. Uh, you can see concentrated in the uh, 14 to 30 range, but um, everyone's represented, which is cool to see. Next one is just length of being a, being a subscriber. Just curious to see. Um, most two to six months, I think around uh, the summertime I got a lot of subscribers so that's probably a lot of people in that area and then also longer than six months and longer than a year are both strong so I really appreciate the long time subscribers and there's some new people not many of the two weeks um, but besides that there are quite a few new people so welcome to the channel if you are relatively new how did you find the channel um, just for myself for outreach and stuff uh, mainly divided between just stumbling upon a video that's the top one um, similar channel maybe I dropped a comment somewhere maybe it was a related channel something like that on another YouTube channel that you guys saw and the last one was just looking for a channel like this and you came across one hive gazette um, everything else was pretty insignificant but there were a few answers for uh, for all the other options so that's the breakdown for that um, next question was what town hall level are you and you could select multiple if you have multiple accounts. Town Hall 9, definitely the most popular. Um, about two, three quarters of you guys are Town Hall 9s. So very well represented there. Have some 10s as well. Then um, 11s, 8s, lower than 8s. I think a lot of the lower, the 8s and lower to 8s might be second accounts. I don't cover Town Hall 8 content anymore. It's just not a, a competitive Town Hall. So uh, not going to change that. But... 
I apologize if you're a Town Hall 8 looking for Town Hall 8 content. That's just not my thing anymore. Um, I don't have a Town Hall 8 account anymore, so it's just not what I do on this channel. But there's lots of other YouTubers, I think, that will cover the low-level gameplay. So uh, check those guys out if that's what you're looking for. Next question is what Town Hall levels are underrepresented? Um, I'm really happy with this one. Uh, pretty much 61% uh, said they're all well-represented. And the other ones were evenly distributed. Town Hall 9 was the lowest. So I think Town Hall 9 is definitely covered. Maybe you could do a little more Town Hall 10, Town Hall 11. I have already shifted to some more Town Hall 10. Um, and I'll try to do some Town Hall 11. But for the most part, I think people are happy with that. That was a pretty solid response. And I think... I'm going to keep up what I'm doing with possibly a little more heavy hitter action, but still try to keep Town Hall 9, probably the main Town Hall level uh, you, that you see on the channel. Uh, moving on to the next question, what type of clan are you in? And I uh, had you pick the top uh, answer if you have multiple accounts or multiple apply or something. Um, about 10% or 9% CWL, so uh, a slice were in the CWL clans. About a quarter of you guys are in competitive clans, they're doing arranged wars and stuff, but the vast majority are in just war clans in general, which is cool. It's nice to be able to try to lift some of those clans up to the next level by showing some of these attacks, and I think those are the clans that really make up most of what clan wars are, so uh, I appreciate the viewership, and I hope I can help you guys and possibly even help a transition into arranged wars if that's something you want to do, but a lot of people just like doing the random searches, which is cool too. Uh, it takes a little bit of stress and logistics out of it. So uh, that was interesting to see, and a few people not playing the game who are watching, so uh, that's cool to see as well. Um, what percent of the videos do you watch is the next question. As I thought, probably most of them are 75% or more. It's obviously going to be skewed because some people who don't watch many videos never filled out the survey. It's probably my most active viewers that fill out the survey. So a little bit skewed, but probably as expected. The majority of you guys watch most of the videos. And then this gets into the short answer questions. I have a number of these uh, queued up that I asked you guys where you typed out an answer, which are a little bit harder to quantify because there's no pie chart or bar graph or anything. But I said, what types of videos do you not watch, if any? And one of the problems with pe people didn't understand that uh, I, I said not to watch. So people, it was hard to tell if people were talking about what videos they want to see more, what videos they don't like. It was very unclear. Uh, but luckily, that question wasn't that important. The other three questions uh, gave me enough information. I'll get to those in a minute. Um, but probably uh, going back to one of these uh, multiple choice or checkbox questions, this was probably more revealing as far as what types of videos people like. The first one is what type of video do you like most? Uh, pick one or two and attack strategies the most common I've shifted a little bit more towards trying to cover those so I think I'm doing a good job there with the attack strategies everything else pretty close I think the tips are popular they were the next uh, just by a little bit war recaps the lowest and pretty similar um, it just kind of turns into the opposite if you go to the least uh, attack strategies not many people are uh, against showing attack strategies, so I think that's something I'll continue to do. War recaps, though, um, I have started to limit that already, so hopefully you guys have seen that. Uh, the war recaps aren't that interesting unless it was a really close war, and oftentimes the more focused videos are better because they allow people to kind of pick and choose what videos they want to watch, whether it's a Town Hall 9 focused video, a defensive video, a certain attack strategy for like Town Hall 10, just more focused videos. But I will still do war recaps, I think, when uh, when the time's right. I will limit that though. Uh, defensive videos, not popular, but I think there's definitely a large community that likes the defensive videos. So I'm going to continue doing those and I'll get to that in a second. Um, I'll talk more about that as I get to the short answer. But everything else pretty comparable the those three um the ones that aren't the attack strategy or war recap were all kind of in that middle area so hard to make changes based off that uh, next question would you consider buying a t-shirt just wanted to uh to get that question out there in case i thought about doing it in the future um, as I thought, most people are no. About a quarter of people are yes or leaning towards yes. So that's just for me to, to know if I want to uh, to one day make a sweatshirt or a t-shirt for the channel. So I appreciate that. Um, now, the last three questions are also short answer. And these ones I was able to get a few ideas from. So I'll just go through... Um, the, one, the questions I asked were, list an idea for a series, what changes, improvements do you want to see, what do you want to continue, then at the end I said anything else you want to say, 
And I'm gonna kinda lump all these together because they all get at the same thing, which is what do you wanna see on the channel? What changes, What's why are you watching, uh, that kind of stuff. So one thing I got is people wanna see the Fabulous Fails series continued. I do show failed attacks in that series. It's a little trickier to do because I can't show a base that doesn't get three-starred usually. I don't wanna show a failed dip attack. I did do that once in the past, which I regret. So I wanna avoid uh, showing bases that I shouldn't be showing, but at the same time, I'll try to show failed bases where they failed on the first attack maybe, and it was you know three-starred in the second attack, but I can still show the first attack as a fail. So I'll try to continue that Fabulous Fail series occasionally. Um, I should have one somewhat soon. Uh, people wanted to see me bring other YouTubers on the channel, which is something I mentioned doing uh, in the holiday update video, or whatever I called it, uh, bringing other people, uh, especially YouTubers on the channel. I'm gonna try to do that um, probably uh, after the new year to get some people on the channel. That would be cool to have some collab type videos or just some interviews or stuff. The attack meta video, I'm gonna try to do that a little more frequently, maybe not every two months, maybe one every month uh, to let you guys know what's being used and uh, why it's being used. I think that's a good, a good series I wanna continue. We have the live attacks, which people like, and I know it's been a little while since I've done some live action, but I want to continue doing that. Once I have more time, it's easier to do. If my schedule lines up where there's a lot of attacks going on, I can just kind of sit around, you know, do some homework or something while, uh, while I watch my computer screen and catch some live action. So I'll try to get back to that, both my own live attacks and the live attacks of other people. We have um, a few people said intro or music. They wanted to see like background music. Um, I tried that before, not gonna happen, at least not in the near future. No intro, no no background music, just straight to the video. Um, and then finally, people you know like the base builds, a significant amount of people like those, so I'll continue the defensive videos, whether it's base builds or s focusing on a specific defensive concept, and people like the depth of the videos when I get really specific, so I will do my best to continue that and talk about different specific things in the game. Uh, but that sums up the survey. Thank you guys for filling it out. I appreciate that. Now let's get to the um, the giveaway. Uh, the winner drum roll is, and this by the way, this is in case you guys don't know, this is uh, someone who is subscribed to me and to Braden Whitman. That was the uh, mutual subscriber giveaway I'm doing as kind of a promotion for Braden. I encourage you guys, by the way, to subscribe to him if you haven't already. He has interesting videos. Uh, Braden Whitman is the name of the channel. But the winner who is subscribed to both channels is uh, Muzamil Jawad, I think is how you say that. Uh, probably not, but that's my best guess. I'll show it on the screen right here. Um, he is the winner of the $20 gift card towards Clash of Clans. So hopefully he's watching this video, he or she, probably a he, I think. Hopefully he's watching this video. And uh, if you are, Musa Meal, what I need you to do is probably send me a message. If you go to my About section, there should be a Send Message option. Uh, let me know what your email is, and then that way I can... Uh, that way you send me an email saying, hey, this is me, uh, can you reply with the gift card? And I will. Let me know if you're on iTunes or, uh, I, or Apple or Android, I think. So whether it's iTunes or Google Play. So let me know that. Um, so basically, probably send me a, ch a message on my channel or comment on this video. Probably either one would be fine. I recommend the message though. Let me know what your email is so I don't get it from someone who's pretending to be you. And uh, send, send me an email and I will respond. Um, my email is on the screen right here, onehivegazette at gmail.com. So send the email there and send me the message. Do those two things and I will respond with the appropriate gift card. Uh, thank you for subscribing to both channels. Hope you like the content on both of them. So that pretty much sums up this video. Hope you guys liked it, everyone else. Um, sorry if you didn't win, but I encourage you to continue uh, watching the content on both channels. And uh, yeah, that'll do it for this video. Thanks for watching one more time, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Don't forget about the uh, the deal for those of you Town Hall 9s tomorrow if you're interested. Uh, follow me on Twitter, and you'll have all the details for how to try to friendly challenge the base I built yesterday. Uh, thanks for watching. See you guys later. Bisect the Tron out.